I'm Allison from Learning at the Primary Pond. I'm a literacy specialist, and in this video, I'm gonna walk through an actual lesson that I would use to teach first graders about contractions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every single time I post a brand new video about teaching literacy in K2. All right, so contractions. Contractions are words like I'm, where there's two full words, combined but together and usually at least one letter is replaced by an apostrophe. The good news about teaching contractions to first graders is that kids likely use them all the time in their ordinary everyday speech. So I'm going here, I can't do this, right? So they're actually familiar with contractions even if they can't read and write them yet. Now that said, reading and writing contractions can be really challenging, especially for first graders, even for second graders. So if you have ever worked with students who struggled with reading contractions and or writing contractions, in the comments right now, what I want you to do is put the word read if it's been more challenging for reading or writing if it's been more challenging for writing. Now, if it's been challenging for your kids for both, you can put both the words read and write because contractions are no joke. Okay, so this again is gonna be like an example lesson of how I would introduce it to first graders. And this is something that I would teach like later on in the school year. This would not usually be like an early in the year lesson. Now, I might have already talked to them about contractions and how to read them as it came up in books. So this is probably not the very first, first time that I've really mentioned it to them, but it is the first time that I'm going to be asking them to make and eventually write contractions, but writing doesn't even come in this first lesson. Okay, so the way that I would start this lesson is I would have at least one sentence, possibly two, and I would read it to the kids. And I might, you know, ask a question like, uh, is there a word that seems different from the other words? Or like, what punctuation marks do you notice? Um, or I might just get right to the point and say, hey, you know, this, did you notice this little apostrophe here? This is a contraction. I'm, what that actually means is I am, right? So I am a teacher is the same thing as saying I'm a teacher. A contraction is a shorter way of saying something, usually putting two words together. So I might have another example written on the board with a different contraction. And then what I might do is I might have the kids partner up and just orally to each other, I might have them make up a sentence that has one of the contractions from the example. So like, uh, I'm a first grader. They would just make up their own sentence, but they would have to use the contraction. I feel like getting them to use something orally is really helpful and it's a good starting point before we ask them to read and write anything. Okay, so moving on to reading and writing. Um, typically when I'm introducing contractions to first graders, this actually comes from my phonics program from Sounds to Spelling. In a minute, I'm gonna be telling you how to get a free week of lesson plans from the program. But anyway, usually when I'm introducing contractions for the first time, I will introduce contractions with is, am, and not, and that's it. Like that's all we do because I feel like they can be challenging and this is enough for us to bite off at once. And then maybe later in the year, maybe next year in second grade, they'll get to work on contractions with other words as well. So this little poster, again, it's from my phonics program from Sounds to Spelling, just kind of shows them how to form it. But I actually probably wouldn't be showing them this yet. What I would do is I would either model or have them read if I feel like they will already be able to read them this little half sheet. I know you probably can't see that well, but it just has some contraction words, again, only with is, am, and not, okay? So they could read this independently, they could read it with a partner, we could read it whole group, and then they read it, whatever you feel like is appropriate for them. They also get to keep this, and in From Sounds to Spelling, I encourage the teachers who use it to have like a folder for the kids and they will put these little half sheets of words that come with the program in there so you can have the kids take the words back out and reread them later. Okay, once they've had some experience with reading contractions, we might end the lesson there if I feel like that's enough or we might move on to actually having them build contractions. And so at this point, I would probably take out this poster and talk about like physically, how do we make a contraction with is am or not and like talk about it maybe do some writing on the board okay 
And then what I'll do is this will probably actually already be up for the lesson, but I will post my little welcome to the contractions construction site. If you have, you know, like little play hard hats or play tools or whatever you want to use to make it fun, it can be, it can be super um, fun for the kids if you just have some little props. But anyway, now we're going to do contraction construction. And so this is what the sheet looks like that they're going to do. And so basically they are gonna have to use this sheet to build each contraction featured here. So it says I'm right here and they are gonna have to take, for example, I and am, they're gonna actually have to, have to cut off the A and glue in the apostrophe to make it look just like this. So they're gonna be taking these words, cutting them apart, cutting things off and making these three contractions. So that is a little contraction construction activity. You can do it again with different contractions. Um, you can make your own, of course. Again, this does come from the first grade version of From Sound to Spelling. But the contractions construction is super fun. And then, you know, maybe the next day they'll actually be writing contractions or building them with magnetic letters or whatever you want to have them do. So that's pretty much it. Again, we moved from reading and coming up with oral examples to reading on a half sheet with a partner, whatever. Um, and then we actually did our contraction construction. Again, I teach is, am, and not contractions first. And then we can go from there as far as having the kids build, read, write. And you can kind of gauge too, like depending on how the lesson went, um, what are you gonna do with con contractions the next day? Are you gonna do more of the same? Or are you gonna kind of move on to maybe writing words or sentences with contractions? Just totally depends on how your kids are doing. All right, if you would like a free week of my phonics program, not necessarily the contractions week, but just another actually full example week and materials, there's gonna be a link that goes along with this video that you can sign up. It's totally free. I've got kindergarten, first grade, or second grade in there. So you can have any or all just to see like what a complete week of phonics um, lessons might look like. So that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.